Ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's show, I'm going to make a little deviation and get into the realm of the mysterious through mentalism, the ability to read someone's mind, make predictions, intuition, or extrasensory perception. I brought an experiment tonight. Before I left for the show, I took a picture of a famous person and I placed it inside this envelope. Nobody knows but me. I'm going to ask the spectator in the audience to please name any famous television star, movie star, politician, worldwide celebrity. Let's see if our minds can become en rapport with each other. Uh, you, sir, would you help me, please? Would you call out some famous person that you're thinking of? But just don't change once you select that person. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. Have we ever met before, sir? No. Thank you very much. This is hard to believe, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Carson. A picture of Johnny Carson I placed in this envelope before I came to the show tonight when he was six months old. That's right. Johnny Carson. The other night I was doing this for the Chamber of Commerce in town and somebody called out Michael Jackson. But I was ready for him. Thank you very much. Okay, that's Ken Brooks Baby Gag. It's been a classic for years. It's a guaranteed winner for the lay audience. It always gets two laughs. One when you expose the little white baby, and then as you time this and set it down and mention that the other night I did a show for the Chamber of Commerce and somebody called off Michael Jackson, but I was ready for them. So you get two applauses, two laughs for this effect. Now you know comedians, good comedians pay $100 for a good joke, for one laugh. For what you get here with the Kinbrook baby gag, you get two laughs for the price of one. It's a commercial effect, and Kinbrook's magic was made for the commercial magician. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.